These videos are going to show you how to use Gaia Pro 2021. Now Gaia Pro currently uses the Unity game engine or what some simply call the Unity engine. And I'm going to assume that some of you have a lot of experience with the engine and that some of you may not. Some of you may not have even ever opened the engine before. And that's perfectly fine. You're going to find out that Gaia Pro 2021 will do a lot of the preliminary setup work for you. Now, before we start, there is going to be one question that you have to answer. And that is, which rendering pipeline do you wish to use? There is the standard pipeline, which is Unity's traditional rendering pipeline. And then there are the new scriptable rendering pipelines. These are called the Universal Pipeline and the HDRP Pipeline. Now, if you're new to all of this, you might be wondering, which pipeline do I use? Well, you decide by determining what your in product is going to be shown on. If your in product is going to be on a mobile device, then you may want to pick the standard pipeline or the universal pipeline. If it's going to be on gear such as VR gear, then again, you might want to do the standard pipeline or the universal pipeline. If you're going for feature film quality or AAA console game quality or high-end PC game quality, then most likely you're going to want to consider using the HDRP pipeline. You might be wondering, well, what does that mean? What is a scriptable pipeline? A scriptable pipeline means that it's actually editable. It's adjustable. You can actually script and change the way the pipeline renders. It's simply a way of handling the entire process of making the image that the final viewer sees. If you want a fast pipeline, you try to optimize certain things to make things go quicker. If you're worried about image quality first and foremost, such as you're rendering for a feature film, then obviously that takes precedence. Now, the standard pipeline is perfectly fine for most general projects. But the universal pipeline is actually designed to give you the highest quality that it possibly can while maintaining high frame rates on low end gear. And when we say low end gear, we mean things like cell phones, mobile devices, VR headsets. The HDRP pipeline is obviously going to be your high end pipeline for high end machines such as console games. PC computers or output for film rendering. So once you've decided which rendering pipeline you want to use, we can move forward and we'll create a project. Now, the wonderful thing about Gaia Pro 2021 is it works with all of Unity's pipelines. In the following videos, I'm actually going to show you a complete walkthrough on all three pipelines, the standard pipeline, the universal pipeline, and the HDRP pipeline. And you'll see that Gaia works very well with every pipeline. Now, with all that information at your disposal, you can properly choose what pipeline you wish to use. I have the Unity Hub open here, and this is what you get when you install Unity. And the Unity Hub is kind of the center point for all things Unity. You can see on the left hand side here that we're currently showing the projects that we have. And projects are just a collection of folders where it stores everything for your game or your film or whatever you happen to be building. Now they have a learn section. So if you're new to Unity, you can come here and there are a ton of tutorials and there's also a ton of projects. You can see here is the tutorial section and here's the project section. If you wish to ask questions or read about Unity, you can click on the community tab on the left and it's going to show you all of Unity's major links. Now, the last one is the installs. A very common thing with most game engines is that you can actually have different versions of the game engine installed. Currently, you can see that I have 
220.3.6 and a very old version 219.3 installed. It's up to you which version you wish to use. Typically, I use the most current version. Here's where you go to install any version that you choose. You just go up to the right, click the Add button. But let's assume that you've already decided which version you're going to use and you've already decided your pipeline. So we'll go to the Projects tab. And from here, you can actually see an Add button and a New button. Now, an add button is simply to add a project that somebody may have given you or a project that you currently don't have connected to the hub. It will automatically add it to this list here if you have a project you wish to add. Now, the new button is what we're really concerned with. And when you go to the new button, you're going to see the different versions of Unity that I have installed. And I'm just going to pick the newest version and automatically it's going to come up with this window. And here is where you choose your pipeline. And you can see that we have the 3D pipeline, which is the standard pipeline. We have the high definition RP, which is a high definition render pipeline. And then we have the universal pipeline. So you start by choosing which pipeline you wish to use. And as soon as you've done this, then you can give it a name. And you can choose a folder location. If you wish to change the folder location, you just simply click on these three dots. And that allows you to pick any folder on your computer. And then all you have to do is hit the Create button. And it's just that simple. Now in the next videos, we'll do a complete walkthrough of the standard pipeline, the universal pipeline, and the HD pipeline, and set up Gaia Pro, and do a walkthrough and create a train.